Well, spring is here. I don't think many people were expecting this or ready for this in this area, but spring is here. First day of March. Unbelievable. Uh, just want to do a little quick rye update. Uh, this is the cover crop rye that I'll be planting the pumpkins into. Um, I know like in the previous video I talked about, I wasn't sure if this rye would make it since it was so late. Um, I cannot believe how fast this stuff came out of the ground and it, it's already a couple inches tall, maybe three inches tall. Cannot believe how fast this stuff has grown. And I'm just attributing that to the warm weather. It's just been so dang warm uh, here for late February. We had some days in the mid 80s. I'm not sure what to say, really. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had some warm weather before in, uh, during the winter time. And uh, normally though, it, it's just kind of short lived. Well, looking at the extended forecast, it's, it's hanging around. So it has caused everything to bloom. Uh, the only thing, and, and they're always last every year, is the pecan trees. They have not got tricked yet. Everything else is blooming. Uh, there's pollen dropping. My allergies have been terrible. Um, gr green grass in the pasture. So, was probably the worst thing to happen on this rye because I'm not 100% sure. Luckily, this variety is a low vernalization rye but i'm still concerned that it may not i'm still i don't know will it throw up a seed head or not like i'm not sure i really need this to get as tall as i can get it uh, oh, sun's not helping there but you can see it's it's three inches tall that is insane growth i've never seen it grow this fast it just came out of the ground so, so fast. And we had ample moisture too to get it going. But uh, you can see this is so unusual. This is a uh, sickle pod already germinating first week of March. Uh, those weeds like that, they take a lot of heat. You know, we don't see those weeds start going until... Man, at the earliest, mid-April. And, I mean, look, here's here's morning glory. Um, fortunately, I would almost bet there will be some sort of cool weather. Hopefully, a frost will come in and nip these. Um, I'm more than likely going to spray this rye with 2,4-D, though, anyways, but... Since this was just tilled, I do not see any winter weeds in it. I see very little ryegrass, a little, but no chickweed or henbit or anything like that. Um, here is some pumpkins. They've come up. That's fine. Hopefully they'll get nipped off too. Yeah, I know it's sunny out here right now so it's kind of hard to see but looking down the rows it's it's green and it's it's growing now this was planted at 250 pounds to the acre and that's a lot but the seed was the some seed that i kept from last year that uh it was the last field that I cut and it had some sprout damage. So I think the germ on it was only 60%. Therefore, we're around 165 to 170 pounds to the acre of, of like good live seed. And I, I think we got a pretty good stand here. But yeah, spring's here. It's warm today. I'm not sure how this is gonna, how this rye is gonna do, but I'm going to throw some nitrogen on it here pretty quick. Try to hurry it along a little bit because, again, we're running out of time to 
get height on this stuff but with with this warm weather uh, like i say i don't know i don't know if it's going to be able to vernalize a, a cinder block right there <laughs> i don't know if it's going to be able to vernalize and make a seed head i just need height on this stuff so i can roll it down and plant the pumpkins out here hopefully don't have any disease problems doing that i don't expect to do that year after year but um it worked so good out here this past year i decided to do it again and especially it's up here road frontage where i set my stand up and all that i just i i decided to go here again so hopefully we're not fighting any problems um but it's actually to me these uh these summer weeds that are coming up i'm actually happy about that because i do think i mean the extended forecast does not show any cool weather but i've talked to a lot of older farmers around here and you know they remember a lot of times having a an early april frost so this is the first time i'm actually kind of hoping for one uh kill some weeds slow things down a little bit man it is just it's it's really really different this year um i look back at some pictures on my phone that i had taken last year and uh we were we we're a good like solid two weeks ahead this year two weeks ahead of uh schedule as far as this weather goes so that's all I got for you guys. Just wanted to update you on the rye, what it looks like. Uh, never planted it, you know, middle of February. So I would say with this heat though, it has, it's, this has really moved along faster than I thought. Would not have thought that. So it looks good. Okay, and here's the other piece of this winter rye cereal rye that i planted uh we're in the back here behind uh the back of the farm that's the grazing area that i have um this is very very small you can see where the corn stalks are that's the end of it so it's probably uh acre and a half probably right in this area but look at that it came up really nice this one spot right there but uh look at these interests just looks real thick which is what i wanted with it being late planted is for it to be thick you're gonna have to make up for probably a loss of tiller since it's planted so late but uh yes this will be pumpkins as well and then uh the area back straight behind the house where we do our garden every year that'll also be some of the shorter day pumpkins will go there after that garden is done so it's going to be five acres of pumpkins right now i don't know i may may go out a little bit farther right here but right now for sure five acres here's the here's the end rows you can see it stops right here 